Welcome back now and if you're just joining us, you're still on to the press reaching you live from the Abuja studios of Kaftan TV. Right about now we've been joined by a guest with whom we're going to be doing the analysis to some of the headlines we have read to you. His name is Ade Mario, he's a security expert. You're welcome this morning. Thank you so much. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, OJ. All right, so let's um, take some stories from, let's start with Daily Sun. In fact, almost all the whole papers have the same story. Mm. says um, confusion. Okay, uh, 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 cool. Invite Fanny Kayode to explain allegation. Atiku tells DSS and the police. And then on, um, the Nigerian pilot says, count us out. These HQ dissociate themselves from um, alleged meeting with a presidential candidate, denies alleged coup plot, and describes coup rumor as malicious propaganda, insists military remains loyal to constitution, will never um, plot against Nigeria's democracy, invite Fanny Kaladi to explain coup allegations, um, Atiku tells DSS, police and others. That's like the uh, story of all the national dailies this morning. What are your response to this one? The truth remains... Um there are a lot of distraction to take the city's narrative mm. from the major ball game of 2023 election. So mm. who is distracting the citizens? Yes, um, the truth is most, the, there are cabals that rule this country mm. that myself and you cannot shy away from. Mm. And this sort of persons looking at 2023 election with the new policy of the CBN, looking at it that it will not the way things stands as at the moment does not favor some certain pe set of persons and from that end you will notice that about two weeks ago the governors the apc governors have to convey a meeting hold the meeting with the president seeking for an extension mm -hmm. to june uh on the on the cbm new uh, NERA policy mm -hmm. to see that uh, uh claiming that the citizens are suffering now all these aside uh, aside distraction why not them actually engage the cbn governor to produce more new narrow notes that can go into circulation to ease the tension hmm. of the people hmm. so now then can uh, uh, um, uh, this young man on his own that always come to talk. you know you remembered at a point in time he came on board to talk about a whistleblower mm. who alleged a uh, article mm. of some fraud in the past and at a point in time they have gone to court but the truth remains that if there should be any coup it should not be opposition mm. that should be planning coup mm. it should be uh, government of the day and mm. those who are not satisfied within that same government mm. that should be planning coup mm. because if you are not in government you don't have power mm. That is the truth. You don't have access to security power. So it is the government of the day that has power over security mm. that can actually truncate and take charge. Mm. So on this basis, we remember that the the chief of defense staff has also come out some, uh, some time ago to actually say that the army will not and has never conceived such an idea mm. to come up with coup. Now, Buari on his own have set up a transition committee mm. that will take over power. Uh, that will actually make sure that taking over power from him will show that that the next president mm -hmm. of Nigeria will move smoothly, either from his own party or from our, uh, outside his own party. party. Now, with all that Buari has done on ground, mm. it should be made clear and made known that there is no coup mm. that can take place but one thing that is inevitable that we actually emphasize if this week that we are if there is no uh, a kind of a dicing down the tension mm. of shortage of a uh, new narrow note in the society and issue of first scarcity if the tension did not dice down there is possibility that the 25th election might be shifted mm. because one people who are here 30 percent of people who are here in abuja will have to travel back home mm. to go and cast their vote most of them don't vote here so some are from undo some are from uh, abia state some are from enugu and other part of the state in the country now if there is no fuel even if there is fuel and it is too exorbitant it will be difficult mm. for anybody to be fueling his car going and coming from here to Kaba with about 20,000 naira mm. just to go and cast vote. Now, even the money is not even available. Mm. And then fully well, 
that some filling station does not even accept transfer, transfer yes. anymore. Mm. So you can see the danger surrounding the election. So on this note, if we are now saying that the election might not hold, is different from mm. a coup mm. being planned. So why exactly mm. do you think that that particular person would have such make such statements to hit the polity? No, the truth remains that some persons will have to come on board with some certain words. Mm either to cause fear or to instigate some set of persons against some set of persons mm. even in the same party yes it is possible it is we have the governor of uh, kaduna coming up to say there are some persons uh, cab uh, uh, cables in the in the villa who are misdirecting who are misdirecting the president mm. but all these persons are within the same party we had uh, uh, recently where uh, Oshimwele also came, uh, came on board to say some persons went to uh, Daura to hold a meeting with President Momo Dubuari within the same party. So now the truth remains that some persons needed to retain power, hmm. not for the sake of the citizenries, hmm. but to be able to protect the loots hmm. they have acquired. In this administration in the last 80 years hmm. all right now just before you uh, proceed uh, when you're trying to uh, you premised your submission on the fact that um, uh, in Nigeria uh, Nigeria is being run by a cabal that um, you and I uh, know about uh, you may want to uh, shed some light on that uh, very that very statement uh, because uh, looking at um, uh, looking at the uh, the general elections that is approaching in the next uh, 13 days right now and they talk of a coup and then um, several times the uh, Nigerian military has um, come out to say that they will not be used uh, to uh, uh, to delay the election they will not be an instrument in the hands of uh, politicians to cause any form of uh, uh, confusion uh, moving on to the uh, general uh, elections do you think uh do you think now is is the right time to start having the conversation of a coup uh no coup uh dss inviting uh mr x uh, dss is not inviting uh, mr x i'd love you to shed some light the, 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 the fact remains the country we are at the moment mm. is a country where we are not being sincere to ourselves mm. it's a country where we are not being fair to the citizens that our uncles and brothers who are in place of authority does not really respect those that give them mandate to represent them mm. at this period in time not just speaking from here but looking at the the languages the words from the from, uh, from the apc cycle mm. recently we also uh, uh, had uh, the presidential candidate apc coming up to say uh even if they change the poor new ink mm. on the new Naira note that they will win their election mm. now he is still part of that same government that mm. is coming on board with this policy so mm. do you, don't you think that is kingdom against kingdom no that that, that 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 is a point that is why i said that is why i said this is a fight that technically some persons we want to divert the attention of the citizenry and that is why some persons are now coming with the word hmm. of somebody planning coup hmm. so but coup cannot be planned hmm. by somebody that does not have the power over security hmm. so if you are not within the security cycle to plan coup it's not an easy thing hmm. because it has to involve some certain powerful cartels hmm. who have access to arm who have access to information who have access to international backup hmm. so it co cannot just be planned without an outsider hmm. supporting it hmm. whereby they would have been able to get a good conclusion that if we succeed in this this is your share hmm. so but the fact is this that the language and the words of coup coming on board at this period is to distract the citizens so now why do you and we are saying that the citizens should not be distracted because for us 
We will do everything possible to monitor the government to make sure that the 25th election come to pass. And, this, and the INEC have said this, that everything that is needed in terms of funds mm -hmm. will be made available for INEC officials across board. Mm, the CBN. To make, yes, the CBN. To make sure that the election goes smooth, uh, mm -hmm. uh, smoothly. Whereby nobody will complain we could not have fund mm -hmm. to buy fuel. We could not have fund to put the vehicles in order. We could not have fund to get materials. Mm -hmm. So the CBN has promised to make everything needed to make 2023 election, which will come up on 25th of this month, a success. Mm -hmm. And may I say this, that if our leaders should really be ready for us to have a free and fair election, this forthcoming election will be one of the best elections in the world mm -hmm. will record. Mm -hmm. Because people are ready more than ever to cast vote. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So, I'm going to ask you. Now, you said that um, this election is going to be something different from the usual. Mm -hmm. So, now, do you think that that's the reason why you have everyone, like... If you think you are an analyst, or if you think that you already know who will win this election, then you're just lying to yourself. Yes. That's what it is at mm -hmm. the moment. Yes. So yes. now you see so many people agitated, so many political parties, they are fair, they are, they are, there's the trepidations there and here. Even the last uh, weekend, we saw the um, attacks on a uh, uh, particular uh, political party, and it's been there over time. You keep seeing things like this. The opposition party wants to attack the other party. So now, with all of this, why exactly is this party fighting over the other party? Why do you see all of this danger, all of this crisis? Is it because they're already scared that, okay, I might not win, so let me bring my, 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 my the, position the, down? The, the, the fact is this. Every strong man will do everything possible mm. to make sure that his contender is being oppressed. You cannot come to my house and feel that you want to defeat me in my house. Mm. Now, you see, attacks has always been from inception of election. From 1999 to date, issue of electionary has always uh, 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 yeah, yes, exactly. Issue of top that, three yes. thoughts being sponsored. Now, these same people who will use the thoughts, give their arms, mm. we leave them at the end of the day after election, and that is where you see criminals, kidnappers, and robbers now terrorizing their environment because they have been equipped by somebody who has power over security now 2023 election is an election that the 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 first uh, six contenders their voices are very loud very sound very intelligent they know the problem they know the solution when how where to apply but another thing is this that some of them are already afraid because of the new nigerian that some persons are chanting Mm. But we may say it here that even if there's going to be a new Nigeria, we still own this country together. All of us are still Nigerians and all still, still uh, citizens. It is only in Nigeria that somebody will win an election or the idea he has conceived, he will just bury it mm. without using it to support whosoever that has emerged. Mm. The day we begin to come on board to support whosoever that is in government, mm. that they will begin to have a better country. So for me as a person, I felt that this issue of attacking each other, sending our boys after a particular political, a friend of mine was attacked. Two, mm. the vehicle of Honorable Muti Okwola, uh, who is also a contestant of the House of uh, Rep from the Kedja Federal Constituency, was attacked. Four of his vehicles were, were vandalized. He called me, he was seeking the contact of the new CP for me that he need to reach out to him. Now, what we are saying is this, that attacking ourselves as Nigerians mm. is never the best. But all this, like I said, is a distraction. It's a sincere distraction. Mm -hmm. It's a political calculation. They know what they are doing. Mm. So as at when you are trying to solve that problem of the pains, injuries that has been caused on you then they are out there putting other things in place mm. to be able to win the election so with this kind of attack one your supporters will not be bold enough mm. to come out on the day of election mm. 
There's a sincere truth. That is that is the that is the techniques surrounding attacks. But don't you see this election as in fact there's some particular supporters they're like, do whatever you want to do, we are we move. Mm. Yeah, yes, that is for those that have that infantry and that courage. The courage you have, there are other young ladies outside there. You really they so, see a sign they're already back inside their father's house. Mm. They will not come out again. And we have thousands of youths like that. Hmm. We have thousands of them like that. But all we are saying is this, that with the support of the security apparatus, with the support of citizenries within their polling units, hmm. within their communities, hmm. within their wards, hmm. it will go a long way to save guide and okay. make this election the most peaceful one come on 25th. All right, talking about... Um, uh, Turn out of the electorate now. Um, the uh, INEC uh, they've exercised the section 40 subsection 2 of their uh, of the newly amended uh, electoral act, which is uh, the reallocation of um, uh, voters uh, from crowded areas to less crowded to less uh, from crowded polling units to uh, the less uh, crowded uh, uh, polling Poly unit. Polling unit. But this is coming just uh, two weeks, barely two weeks. Uh, less than two weeks to the uh, general uh, elections uh, proper. Uh, do you think it's a it's a it's a good move? Because, uh, for example, now uh, if uh, I'm in a polling unit and um, if I'm in a particular polling unit and um, uh, I've been re reassigned to another polling, uh, unit. polling unit, I have to go to the INEC uh, uh, voters registration website to be able to know where, if, you are uh, where, to. Uh, where <laughs> I've been. Uh, allocated to and then um, in the in in all of this uh i think uh the uh, passing passing of the information has been uh has been uh, so par because a, lo a whole lot of um, uh, nigerians who uh, have collected their pvcs most nigerians do not even know that uh, uh, there is this new uh, uh, new, or, uh, new order from 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 the INEC right now. So what's your what's your take? The, on this the, the, the on truth the is this: uh, just like we've always said from the beginning, that the INEC has not been so proactive, so proactive in the sense that their sensitization has not really gone local the way it ought to. Mm. They fact, most of the program that do, they does in the state capital. Mm. Most of all these uh, House of Assembly member uh, councillors being invited mm. at the end of their conference summit, uh, whatsoever they does, when they get back to their hotel to take their gin, take their tea, it ends there. Mm. Some of this no, information let's does not. Call before you continue. Hello, good morning. Uh, good morning. Good morning, sir. Tell us your name or where you're calling us from. Good morning, sir. We can hear you. Tell us your name and where you're calling us from. Okay, I'm calling from uh, Edo State, Mr. Oko. All right, Mr. Oko, go ahead. Uh -huh. So, uh, this topic you are teaching me, I'm so interested. Uh -huh. So, on the issue of Nara, Nara, that is case. It is the politicians, the big politicians that are holding it. And I know that they are going to release it that day. So I'm um, using this media to appeal to the youth and others that they should not allow their uh, vote to be bought on that day. Yeah. We must change the narrative. All right. And we must make sure that a uh, uh, new order is taken over in Nigeria. All these right. cabals that have attacked the country and they have made the country their farm and their family, they took them to other uh, nations. They, they, they are going to be humble. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Yes. from Edo State, for that contribution. All right, before you go ahead with your, you were actually talking about um, how INEC, INEC has yes, actually not, not done really. well. But then, if you keep talking about INEC, how about the political parties? Are they not supposed to have some kind of political education on their own supporters? How and, about and, and uh, national orientation agencies? Thank you very much. I was no, just, no, getting, no, I was no, just getting no, to the end. No, end this, 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 uh, you remember sometimes ago for me. If I have my way, mm. eh, I would have said the National Orientation Agency should be scrapped. Mm. If I let Kodisa take mm. over their work, mm. 
the level of sensitization program we have done last year to this year mm. alone. When we send letter, when organizations send letter to them, you don't see them coming up, and they will tell you there is no money. Mm. And there are a lot of money being pumped to that place on different sensitization program. In fact, they are supposed to be known in all the seven and some four local government. Go to any local government today and ask of national orientation agency. Some persons will not even some person will tell you they don't even know the meaning. Mm. That is how bad it is. But what you are saying is this that INEC on their own should have an effective partnership with national orientation agency and all the civil society organizations a situation whereby it is organization that is begging INEC mm. to work with them the best the INEC should do is one organization right send their data to the DSSS for investigation mm. get every data about the organization if they are claimed uh, functions and duties they have acclaimed they carry out is what they are into and they have that workforce that with numbers then you should be able to invite them and work with them hmm. so the problem we are having in this country is that some of these parastatters they don't want any other person to proclose into any particular place where they are making their money hmm. that is a truth hmm. so they already know how they make their money from some of these lacunas they already know what they make at the end of the year so coming on board to begin to tell them sir this is how to do it automatically they know hmm. you are coming to be a blockage hmm. so they will do everything possible to frustrate you but least we forget with the first question you ask now the truth remains that there are some polling units we have at the moment more than 1005 registered member hmm. why by we have some polling units that will be having uh, nothing uh, less than 500 so to make the election election go very smooth and very easy there was need for the INEC to move from the 1005 mm. to the lesser number poly unit but it coming at this critical time was is not just too good because some persons will be too confused mm. now a situation whereby you post me in Guadalimpa I am in Guadalimpa and you are not asking me to go to area one mm. to go and vote now look at the security risk of moving from gualimpa to area one one know fully well that the security agencies will not allow you to mm. move anyhow mm. on that day mm. Mm. and there are some of these security agencies that go is what they hear they don't hear come <laughs> so they will pick both criminals and the good ones together match them together All right, let's and tag them criminals. as criminals let's take this call hello good morning Good morning, are you there? Okay, I think I have to let you go. Right, let's um, leave that story and take, talk about something else before we let you go. Um, Daily Sun says, let's move straight to Kogi State. And this one on Daily Sun says, Kogi to IGP on Bawa. Um, that's um, the chairman of EFCC. Allowing convicts roam the streets potent danger to the, uh, to the judicial system. Ask police to immediately arrest EFCC boss and commit him to prison. And then, if you recall, I don't know if you saw that story last week. Um, the same Kogi State um, government or uh, the governor to Kogi State's uh, his wife was had an alleged fraud uh, that was talked about by EFCC. Mm. And now you have the same Kogi State telling the um, IGP that they should not allow convicts to roam the street. What does that actually does it actually mean? Um, pointing one finger outside, but the remaining four are pointing right at you. The the the, the truth remains that uh, you see our judicial system mm. has become too abused that the rule of law are no more being followed. Today, if you have your money, you can buy any judgment you want. Mm. That is the situation we find ourselves. Now coming to the wife of the governor, I don't see reason why you should be invited and she's as coming. Mm. If you know your hands are clean and pure, over the two, uh, is it two billion, the uh, two billion scandal? Um, if, if, if I'm pure, if you invite me, uh, most sincerely, I will be the first person you will see mm -hmm. at your door mm -hmm. early in the morning. Because I know I don't have any, any skeleton in my cupboard. You see, like I said, you see the distraction we will find ourselves during and after this election will be very critical.
Mm. But this I will say that somebody now coming to say Bawa should be sent to prison because a convict is roaming about the street. Now, does the person appeal the case? Mm. You know, when the case of the person came on board, he was convicted. Now, he paid the penalty. Nigeria is a place. Eh? If you have opportunity to steal one trillion, hmm. one trillion with ten billion, you will win the case. Hmm. That is where we find ourselves. But in conclusion, I will say this: that the wife of Kogi State Governor eh, should first of all go and submit herself to EFCC. Then the issue of a convict moving up and down. Mm. Eh, will not be treated mm. at the long run. Mm. She cannot tender that as a case. Mm. All right, now uh, let's move on to other stories now. Um, there's this story on the front page of the Daily Trust that reads How influencers, politicians mislead Nigerians ahead of an um, election. Uh, with regard in regards to this, I want to reference that there's been this uh, back and forth between. Uh, uh, popular Nigerian singers, uh, the Peter Okoyes and um, Sean Kuti, son of the legendary um, fella Anikula Kuti. And there's been a lot of uh, back and forth between uh, the both uh, of them. Uh, but most importantly, uh, what role do you think, uh, the to what extent do you think the uh, Nigerian uh, influencers and the uh, people who are, who are seen to be public uh, figures, uh, to what extent do you think uh, they have um, influenced uh, Nigeria on the positive side and um, on the uh, negative uh, negative uh, part? Because if you go on the social media, if you go on the internet right now, the atmosphere is quite different from uh, what we what we have in the in the real world. Now, the, the truth remains that uh, who is Shem Kuti? Uh, what has been his lifestyle of what influence is his life mm. to the to, to the younger generation mm. you see when we talk about influencers it is not just in words it is in your do's and don'ts mm. what others could emulate from you and use as a lifestyle mm. that should be a standard of an influencer mm. not those who make noise on social media just like I will quickly use an example uh, during the Ensas uh, saga mm. before the whole system busted, before the whole system busted effectively. Now we were to hold meeting with the former IG. And before we came down, they said the IG has met with Nigerian youth. When I asked who are the Nigerian youth, uh, they said Davido and Naramali. Mm. Then we begin to ask ourselves. Who are these people when it comes to youth and student activism and struggle mm. in Nigerian context? Mm. So, these people, they are a music world. But their role is that what they do, because of the decadence of the kind of society we find ourselves, for those that live the same life with them, mm. follow them with everything that they have. Mm. Now, in the music world, you discover that people follow more. You have more followers in the music world mm. than the movie world. Mm. That's the truth. Just like the followers of uh, this uh, uh, portable now. Mm. You understand? If portable should come out today and say he's supporting social candidate, some of these guys have not seen portable before. But because it was coming from portable, mm -hmm. that is the candidate they are going to vote for. Mm. That is the country we find ourselves. Even if the candidate is not good, uh, whether it's good or bad, mm. you understand. Mm. But just because they are lovers of what he does, they follow that. Mm. So, but the influencers rule so far in the polity that we find ourselves as are today is not just too palatable. Mm either supporting A or supporting B. Mm. But we need to balance issues. Uh -huh. Balancing issues in the sense that Nigerians should know that as individuals, 
we have a civic responsibility without anybody compelling us, mm. without anybody influencing us, mm. without anybody inducing us, mm. in casting our vote for whom we believe we better Nigeria and we'll be able to protect Nigerian policy, law, and territory, whereby the younger generation will have something to hold on on. All when right. they come on board. All right, All right. because we have um, very few minutes before we let you go. There's this report that talks mm -hmm. about the Naira swap and fuel scarcity. Says a contingent of Nigerian youth, in collaboration with civil societies, are set to roll out monitoring tax forces over the Naira swap and fuel scarcity issues. The Director General of the Coalition of Nigerian Youth on um, Security and Safety Affairs, that Ademayo, that you lamented the widespread um, demonstration and riots in the country brought on by the manner of policy implementation. Talk to us about this very quickly in a few seconds. Now, the, the truth is this, that like I've always said severally, that when Nigerian leaders, when our political leaders, when our appointees and those in charge of parastatas want to set up committees to monitor a, a particular policy, they don't see the youths as being useful. So we felt with the present situation, we are more closer to the people hmm. than some of this authority. Just this morning alone, I have more than 20 persons that have called me mm. that they have some persons that uh, that are giving out money, mm. but 200 naira per thousand naira. Mm -hmm. 200 naira per thousand naira. I think that's even cheaper. I we saw mm -hmm. actually saw a report saying 20,000 naira, 6,000. 6, so, so that is how worse it is. And the police cannot be everywhere. The ICPC cannot be everywhere. Hmm. But the members of civil society organization we have in Nigeria today, only Peace Corps is having about 180,000 members. Hmm. Why not the siblings seek support if really they are being sincere? We have more than 200,000 men and women in Nigeria. Hmm. Why not the CBA seek support of these people to help in monitoring these banks? Just like the bank, one of the UBA bank is saying this morning that they don't have cash mm. available. So I'm not saying the CBA is the one telling lie. No, the bank, the bankers that 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 they are one telling lie. Sit us down. Let us understand this policy. Mm. Let us know how you roll out this money so that we'll be able to give feedback. Because if the citizens don't understand this thing holistically, that is where riot will continue to occur mm. and setting a place of the of bank of banks in this country will be inevitable mm. okay because, because citizens will believe that their money is in that bank mm. why cbn has not given them money so we must know who is telling us the truth so the functions of this task force this tax law is one monitor the bank to make sure that any money that comes in goes to the atm and the atm must walk all through mm. until the money gets finished mm. there are some bank when they fill their atm with one million it may be the one million finish mm. they will not load it until after six hours mm. so at the end of the day they will end up a uh, 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 kind of uh, giving out five million in that day the remaining 25 million mm. is diverted somewhere I will shock you myself when I was coming back from Lagos about three weeks ago. I bought fifty thousand for some five thousand era. Wow. Oh wow! Because I needed that cash. Hmm. I needed it. I don't have an option. But when I was collecting it, I was collecting it with pain. Mm. Hmm. You can imagine in my heart. So if somebody like me could fall victim of it, now talk about the the lesser persons in the society. So we are saying that. With, by, uh, by, by 12 p.m. today, the letters, the names of the 25 uh, tax force members will be sent to the office of the IG, to the director of the SSS, um, to the CBN, hmm. and EFCC, and ICPC. Hmm. Then, from tomorrow, Tuesday, we are kickstarting our activities. Hmm. We will be moving, and as we start with Abuja, we are setting it up across other states hmm. to make sure that one, we want to make sure 25th election hold and money must be available. And in line with what we have done, the the neck at uh, the course of the meeting with the stakeholders with uh, President Momo Dubari in the villa mm. on Friday, they're in line with us. In right. line with us, how that if you cannot print new more narrow road, mm. make the old ones available Believe for the usage of the citizens, All right. even That's when right. some That's of true. us. Mm. Even when some of us does not really concur that there should be an extension mm. of that old mirror mood. 
but the truth remains that people are suffering wow. so we have to concede whereby in in uh, to actually support the citizens who are suffering but for the policy to work well there is need for external body to come on board yeah. and monitor what is happening and that is what we are out there to execute and to achieve thank, thank you, you so much, much. Adem Mario, um security official it's been an uh, expert it's been a wonderful time having this talk with you thank you so much all right viewers that's where we end this segment of the show so move straight to social media corner and see what trended last week or last weekend and the first one we'll take is from um the table of senator um shehu sani he says since the commercial banks are holding the new notes the cbn should allocate the notes to the police to share to the public mm. as in how now anyway mm. like they say police that's, is your friend that's quite um, sarcastic <laughs> but then it tells you how mm. desperate uh, how desperate the whole situation mm. has become mm -hmm. like they say uh desperate times uh, calls for desperate, desperate measures, measures. Mm -hmm. all right let's take all the stories still from social media corner you have um a particular story that talks about uh, we read it on the um, daily this morning 51 year old father dies mm. while fighting his um uh, his daughter's school boss driver who um she accused of molesting her mm. and that's um the situation you have right now i read part of the story says um um since okay the father of the seven year old pupil of loyal schools frederick olufemi died while he was confronting his daughter's school bus driver who she pointed as the person who molested her and it was reported that the pupil who will turn eight in may had told her mother that the driver have conveyed other students to their destinations on the 1st of february 2023 but drove her to his own house to have carnal knowledge of her now hearing this olufemi proceeded to the school with his daughter to speak to the driver leading to an altercation between them consequently the school bus driver pushed mr femi who fell down and was rushed to the nearby hospital and then then he was confirmed dead that is really a sad story and after that one still talking about um something very sad you have same or um, not oh, not same story but um almost same chrisland high school is in the news again mm -hmm. says chrisland high school student narrates what allegedly happened to 12 year old whitney at daniel during the school's inter-house sports and then you have everyone um trending justice for whitney um Adeniro. and so he says i'm father of whitney Adeniro, a student of christland school who reportedly slumped and died cries out says the school um, killed his 12 year old daughter and they are trying to sweep it under the rug and that's coming from him that's a sad story we take the video coming from the mother of the deceased daughter it is really a touching story but we'll just take part of it and then come back to take more social media trends see you shortly All right, we're sorry we could actually not find that video, but would we'll play it as soon as we get it. All right, so let's take other ones and then. And this one says uh, a particular GO of a church was being, um, they actually caught him with um, skunk and um, hard drugs. So let's take that video and take more, we'll come back with more on social media trends. Like we're asking, how do they manage to produce or put these things inside? Mm -hmm. Wow, like really, really. The, the, the sense or the time that you have to build these things, why not use it to do something you could positive? Have used it for more self or things that are more productive, productive and, for the country and uh, that do not uh, go against uh, the, the, the lay down uh, laws. And then, um, seriously, we have to. 
commend the NDLE for mm. <coughs> their efforts in recent times in uh, curbing the uh, illicit drug the, the rise of um, il illicit mm. uh, drugs i agree with you all right there's another video of uh, since we're talking about cash swap controversy there's a video of um, where you have some people sleeping in the atm gallery as early as 3 a.m in the morning and that's where nigerians have gotten into mm. let's take that video okay so and um we'll take the last one and it is a particular video of um a, a voice note where you have some people talking about apc they said it's a particular traditional uh, leader who was threatening people that if you don't have um if you don't have the pvc or if you're not voting for a particular party then you will not you cease to be um, a member of their party and then you just begin to wonder why we keep making this kind of um statement it is is it's really sad when you mm -hmm. people when you have um traditional leaders people who you should look who up should to, be a political a political mm -hmm. exactly and then they keep threatening people that if you don't have your pvcs or if you're not um, voting for xyz party then you're, go you're you cease to be a part of um, a member or an indigenous of that society mm -hmm. It's really sad. All right, that's all we can take today on the press. Thank you so much for tuning in. And to all those who called, thank you for calling in. We'll definitely see you again tomorrow. And we will take your calls and take your messages. Till I come your way again from the nation's capital, Abuja, I am Annabel Oji. Good morning. And um, just before we let you go, this is to my friend and brother, Benjamin Madaki. Be blaze. I want to tell you a happy birthday. And I wish you every good thing in life that you desire. Once again, my name is Francis Adeni. Do well to have a beautiful beautiful day and a beautiful week ahead.